Well, I can't believe I didn't make this episode one of what makes this coin great because this is truly my favorite coin um, of all silver. And it's because it was what I was exposed to very young, actually, in about the late 80s. I had a friend who started stacking silver. His grandma was buying silver for him. And I was, I asked him to prove it, prove that you actually have silver. And so he went in his house and he pulled out a little stack. I think he had about a tube of these American prospectors and he handed me one. And I remember mocking him because I thought to me it looked like a video game token from Aladdin's castle or something. But little did I know, um, he actually had something of value that would later become a really important part of my life. And that is the American prospector. I look for these every time I go to the local coin shop because of how wonderfully collectible they are. So just to give you a little history on Engelhard, because the Engelhards are, are very collectible in all forms. They're poured bars, they're 10 ounce bars, 100 ounce bars, um, but the American Prospector is really where my heart is. And I used to stack these hot and heavy. I used to have dozens of these, and because of different events in my life, I had to sell my stack. And so I'm now finding it much more difficult to find prospectors. But when I find them, I get them. So Charles W. Engelhard started the company in 1902 when he purchased the Charles F. Kroselmeyer Company in Newark, New Jersey. And he subsequently founded the American Platinum Works in 1903 and acquired several other companies. So engelhard has been all around a long time. In 1984, he purchased Baker & Company, a platinum smelting and refining business in New York, Newark, New Jersey. In 1905, he established Hanovia Chemical and Manufacturing Company, also in Newark. And Engel, Engelhardt became the world's largest refiner and fabricator of platinum metals, gold and silver, and a producer of silver and silver alloys in mill form, operator they were the operator of the world's largest precious metals smelter and they also developed liquid gold for decorative applications now some stuff about the american prospector rounds the one ounce prospector it's by far the most recognized of engelhard rounds and they were produced from 1982 through 1988 and the Engelhard Large E logo appeared on the reverse from 1982 through 1984. And the standard Eagle logo appeared on the reverse from 1984 through 1987. So there were two different designs in 1984, which is pretty cool. In 1985, Engelhard also created a one tenth ounce, a quarter ounce, and half ounce prospectors. And these fractional rounds were sold in tubes and many full tubes can be found periodically available on the market. Also included is a more rare proof variety, which I don't happen to have, but I would love to get my hands on. So if you've got one you want to get rid of, please leave a comment on how I can reach you. And I would love to take that off your hands. But um, I believe that these were issued in protective capsules. So... Unfortunately, around 2011, um, the, the 84 Engelhards were starting to show up as counterfeits on the market. So if you have an 84 American Prospector with the large E on the reverse, that is the most prevalent counterfeit of the Engelhard American Prospector on the market. And also be very careful of any that appear to be a proof because there's very few genuine angle hard proofs that were produced. And if more than one appear in a single listing, that should be a massive red flag for you. And another warning sign is proof like prospectors that are sold in hard plastic air tights, as most or all of these are Chinese counterfeits. So all of that said, I believe that is what makes this coin great in this stacker's mind. But I want to know what you think of the American Prospector. Do you love it? Do you hate it? Is this just another generic round? 
Leave comments below. Tell me what you think. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share if you appreciate my content. And if you want to support the channel, you can do a one-time support by clicking the Buy Me a Coffee link in the description down below. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.